WooCommerce is a popular WordPress e-commerce plugin for creating online stores, yet sometimes you might want to keep things simple or try a different approach. In this video, we'll show you how to sell on WordPress without WooCommerce to grow your online business. The first thing you'll want to do is get SeedProd installed. So I have SeedProd installed already here in a clean installation of WordPress. If you need help installing SeedProd, head over to SeedProd.com and you'll first want to get your hands on the product itself. You can click on Get SeedProd Now and in this video, I'm going to be using the Pro version. If you scroll to the bottom, you'll find a link to documentation where you can install SeedProd or get instructions to do so here under helpful links. There's also a link in the description below to a video tutorial if you prefer. Now that you have SeedProd installed on the left hand side, we want to set up a landing page. You can also set up a theme, which is a full website with WordPress. And you can use the visual drag and drop builder with SeedProd to create your WordPress website. For this example, I'm just going to use a simple landing page, which is a single page. At the bottom here, you'll see add new landing page. Let's go ahead and click on this. And now SeedProd is going to ask you to choose a new page template. Here you can filter all of these. And these come with SeedProd built in, so you can select from any of these pre-built templates and you can use them for yourself or your clients or your business. I'm going to sort this one by sales and I'm going to come down slowly and look for one that I like. You can preview these by clicking the magnifying glass. Once you find one that you like, click the check mark. Here you can give your page a name. I'll just call this one shoe sales and we'll save and start editing the page. On the right hand side here, we can see the actual page builder. And on the left hand side, we have the blocks that we can add to our page. So this is a preview of what your website will look like or your page. And then these are the different blocks such as buttons or videos or photo galleries or many, many different types of blocks that you can pull into the page. And you can do this without any coding. So for example, we have a logo up here if you want to change this or if it's a simple page, you could simply delete this. To modify the colors, you can simply click on the block settings for any block. You can see the cog wheel here. So for example, here's the date. You could change this date if you like. Here's a headline if you want to change this. Here's another headline so you could change the details of this. And all of the blocks work in the same way. Here's a button that you could change the text on if you like. And each block has different settings. So for example, here's an image. You can change the image. It also has image size and then the link type. It also has a media box. You have templates that you can use and advanced settings for shadows and image borders, spacing, device visibility, and animation. Let's say we want to modify the background here. We can click on the purple section here. That's this whole section. And on the left here, we have the color. So if you want this a little darker, a little brighter, you could change this up if you like. And you can do this with all of the elements on the page. Once you're happy, you can continue down and we're ready to sell the products themselves. And you can do this by using the SeedProd payment button. Right now in this template, we actually have sections here to sell some shoes. So you could change these products if you like. You could put some details here with the picture. This is using the image box block. And it has a picture here that you can change. So you could click to upload a picture into your media library, or you can select from pre-existing images. You can change the alt text, the image size, the alignment, if you wish, the vertical alignment, if you wish, and the text itself. So here we have the header text where you can see the price. And then we have the text details here. Again, you also have advanced properties here for the style, spacing, attributes, device, visibility, and animations. Now you can set this to whatever you wish. And then you have a payment button below here that will then link to the payment processor. Now this one here isn't actually a payment button. This is just a normal button. So let's go ahead and click back on blocks. And we're going to use the search blocks here to look for payment. Here under advanced, we have payment button. We can bring that in and drop it right here. Now this one's a little bit different than a normal button because we can connect this with Stripe, which is a payment processor. Now you're going to go ahead and connect or create your Stripe account to start collecting payments. You can do this by clicking connect with Stripe. And it's going to ask you to leave the site. Before we do this, let's go ahead and cancel this and make sure we save the page. Let's try this again and connect with Stripe. And there we go. I simply logged into my Stripe account, or if you don't have one, you can create one. Stripe makes it extremely easy. After I filled in my login information, it redirected me back into SeedBroad. So now I can scroll down here and find the button that we were working on. Now that we click on the block settings, we now have different information here. We can set the amount that we want. So for example, this is 87. And we have the payment description. You can put in whatever you like, the payment currency, and the success URL. So you can redirect this person after they've shopped or bought the product. Here you can change the information. So right now it says pay now. You can change that to shop now. And there's button subtext here as well. You can change the alignment and the size here. For the alignment, I'm actually going to go the full width. So you can go left, center, right, or the full width here. For the button size, I'm going to actually change this to medium. And we might make the text itself a little bigger. There's also templates here that you can use. So you could use a little bit of shadow or background on that. And you can change the look and feel of this and then change the color up here under advanced. I'll go with the red button here. 
under advanced so you can come and we can see the button style so you have different options for flat 2d vintage ghost link or custom i'll go with 2d and for the background we'll go with the brighter red here under topography options we can actually change the font size so i can make that a little bit bigger you can change the default font if you like as well and we have the font size itself i'm going to go ahead and delete this old button here and then we can focus on this one i'm actually going to remove the button subtext as it's a little large and then we'll come back to the advanced options here you have options for vertical padding you can change this you can change the horizontal padding if you like we are full width already we have the border radius so you can change the corners on this you can have it completely 90 degrees or you could have it rounded off if you like here you have the button border width so you could add a border here you would need a color here so if i did 10 and then change that to white you can see the button you could actually try that if you want maybe bring it down do somewhere around two we also have text shadow here this is on the actual text itself on the button so i'll do maybe something like large and if you come down we have the shadow itself on the button which you can't see because it's on a black background once you're happy with that you can come down to spacing with margins and padding you have attributes for some custom css and you have some device visibility so you can hide this on desktop tablet or mobile and you can really customize each device great once you're happy with the button you can go ahead and save this and you can just simply duplicate this and we'll just take this and grab it by the handle and bring it over here we'll delete this old one click on this button and we can go ahead and customize the second product for example this is be the pink or the white shoes and you can go through the settings here if you need to and then you continue to do this with the rest of your products and once you're happy with everything and you've changed the rest of your page let's go ahead and click on save and then we have the down arrow here and we'll click on publish here you can see a message saying your page has been published and we can go ahead and see the live page now i can come ahead and scroll down and this will say shop now where they can go ahead and click and pay for this this product and the description of the image will show up for the seller and as long as the payment is valid the sale should go through fine and there we go when i click on the product we can see the test company acme test the green shoes that's the product description that i put for 87 dollars us with the currency and then they can go ahead and fill in their information here and pay for the product before you go i just wanted to mention another fantastic product called easy digital downloads Easy Digital Downloads is one of the best digital e-commerce plugins, allowing you to sell digital products easily from your WordPress site. Seedprod has several blocks exclusively for EDD. That means you can build your store with EDD and customize every part using Seedprod's powerful page builder. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video helped you learn how to sell on WordPress without WooCommerce. Please leave a like if you found it helpful, leave a comment, consider subscribing to the channel, and check out these videos to learn more about Seedprod. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next one.